Okay, we're going to try to take another connector apart. This one's going to be a little bigger. Hopefully you can see it a lot better. This is uh, this is a relay box out of a Ford. Uh, just offhand, I don't know what it came out of. Uh, they mount on the firewall side of some Rangers. Uh, different engines. It's, uh, it's a relay. Uh, a, 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 a mini ISO goes there, 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 there. And then a standard ISO goes right there. So... These pins are on a lot more stuff, but Ford see a lot of uh, fuse box issues. And you can go in and repair those, although no repair shop will usually tell you that because they want to replace the whole thing. They don't know what else is bad in there. But if you're doing it yourself and you want to do single repairs, you're going to pull that red piece out. It's real important you put that back. These things will on a lot of them. This one's not so bad. You can kind of see them wiggling around in there, but on a lot of these... Uh, especially if you've ever taken a part of LS1 connector, uh, LS series, 0411 computer, anything like that uh, on the new LS engines. They actually have one, and I'll do a video on that one too, it pulls out. It's also on your 3800 and stuff like that. Any with the two long connectors that bolt into the uh, weather-packed metal uh, PCM with the, with the 10 millimeter basically are going to be similar. Uh, on those, this actually pushes against the pins and holds, holds them in their place. So when you pull this out, be real careful not to move it around a lot because on, on other styles, this can actually uh, it, it can mess things up. You'll get them out of, out of, out of alignment. They'll kind of move sideways. It can just, in general, be a real pain in the butt. Okay, we're going to go uh, right here to this green one. Okay. Like any other connector, we're going to push in first. Make sure it is not bound up. Let's see if I can adjust my light here. Okay. Now on this one, like a lot of them, uh, let me see if I can get something for some backsplash. I'll reflect the light a little bit better. Okay, you see the tabs, the, the, the tabs in there? See that one right there? That one pushes up, this one pushes down, pushes down, pushes up. If you've got any connectors laying around or an old car, play with these things. I mean, it's you can you can figure it out. It's real easy to do. Most people are just intimidated by working with the wiring. Uh, you're going to push the connector in all the way. You're going to pull down on the tab, pull it right out. And this one... one right here it looks to be locking just right there no no it's not it's locking somewhere down here but uh, I don't know if the camera is missing if y'all can see that on the camera but you can't see it so more than likely what it's doing is locking the bottom half of it from pulling out they all do it just a little bit different don't forget where you got it stick it in there now these, I think, are a little bit bigger, so let's try this one now. Uh, uh, come on. Don't get as rough with it as I am. Be careful at least the first few times, because these things can break. Alright. Now one of these for the standard ISO. Same procedure. I'll do this one right here. You want to push it forward. I wish you could see that tab in there. Just going to push it forward. Push down on the tab. As soon as I get a hold of it. Down on the tab. Slides right out. Alright. And this one, you can kind of see it doesn't have much of one but you see the indention right there that's what it's going into so if this thing's broken or anything like that you're not going to be able to get this pin back in you have to replace the pin if that tab gets broken there if it gets loose or anything like that sometimes you can push the plastic in while the while it's out of there and kind of help it tighten up a little bit but if I mean if that doesn't work 
then you're just SOL. Don't forget to put these back in place. They just snap in. And notice how loose all these are. How loose it is. See, this one. Well, they're just all kind of loose. Now, when you pop this in there, that's going to tighten them all up quite a bit. They're still going to be a little bit loose, but not near as loose as they were. Alright, and that's them kind. Hopefully that helps somebody.